How much of your life have you forgotten? Um, personally, I've had days, weeks, and months go by without me really noticing that the time is just gone. And I usually feel like there's something I would have liked to remember, or sometimes I learn something interesting and it kind of slips away. So the question that comes out of that is, how do I make the most of my time and how do I remember more? And something that I've come across has been writing. The power of writing has really helped me transform my life. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Shamari Francis. And in this video, I'll be sharing the three journaling methods that have helped me use writing to transform my day to day life. I felt more present than ever before. I feel like I've unlocked creativity from like when I was a kid and I've also built momentum in my productive work. So I'm going to share that in this video. I would easily say it's one of the most rewarding habits I've developed in the past year. Now there's a lot of different approaches you can take to journaling, but the three methods that I practice were gratitude journaling, a morning pages and a reflection journal. And in this video, I'll be explaining what each one is, how it helped me, some of the obstacles of each one, and I'm hoping that they can serve as an example of what you can apply. Okay, so the first journal I'm gonna talk about is the five minute journal, which I call the gratitude journal. This book I started on the first of the year, 2023, and have continued it almost every single day. It lasts for about six months, and then I got a second one. So this is my second book. Um, I am a repeat buyer. <laughs> But this journal is really great. It starts off with a little explanation of how journaling works, the basic principles, and why it's so important to write. So I really like how it gives that overview and kind of primes you to take advantage of writing. The basic layout of this journal is it has a quote at the very top. Um, but you start off with the things that you're grateful for. So write three things and it's hard to understate how important gratitude is. It makes you grounded, <laughs> it makes you happy, and it makes you think of things bigger than yourself. You write what you're grateful for, you write what would make the day great, and this is also amazing because it kind of sets in motion, okay, what can I do to make this day great? And then you write an affirmation. So that's the morning section. Then in the evening, you write the three highlights of the day and one thing that you learned. This journal is great. It's simple, it cultivates gratitude, which cultivates joy and presence in your life. And I really enjoyed doing it. Ultimately, it gets you started with journaling. So this is a really great place to start if you have not journaled at all. It's also fun to look back at a glance. You can just flip through the pages and see some of the highlights that you've had, some of the things that you've learned. One of the areas that the gratitude journal is insufficient would be creative expression. It would also be inefficient if you didn't just hit the like button right now. It's pretty easy and helps me out a lot. Thank you. If you are looking for creative expression, that's where the next journaling technique comes in. Moving on to the second form of journaling, you can use any notebook for this. It's called The Morning Pages, which is actually from a book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I have this book right here. I actually haven't read it, but I've heard a lot of other people talking about it. And the idea that I ran with was just writing out whatever was in my head and putting it on the page. So wherever that goes, just write. It doesn't matter if it's five, 10, 15 minutes, an hour, two hours, but just to write what's going on inside of your head. This is massively beneficial because it allows you to understand what you're thinking about uh, by putting it on paper. And once it's on paper, you can take a step back and kind of leave it there. One of the major things that I loved about doing the morning pages that happened very often was it sparked my creativity, especially doing it in the morning. I would just write and write and then I would connect ideas that I hadn't thought of before. And sometimes in our day, we just have so many distractions, but by doing it in the morning, hence the morning pages, you're able to go into a flow state and you make some beautiful connections and it might be about your dreams, it might be about people, but I've just found that it's a really great way to enhance my creativity. So I would say the main obstacle of morning pages is that it takes a little bit more energy to do. The gratitude journal is step by step. You just follow the prompts, you're done. With this, you have to use your mind a little bit more. It's worth it, but it takes a little bit more time to do. So if you need more than five minutes in the morning, I wouldn't start here, but I would highly recommend you check out the morning pages. Okay, so the last journaling technique is called the reflection journal. I 
love this method. There's three steps. The first is to write down what you did in the day. I normally did this in reverse order. So I'll write what I just did and then go backwards from that until the second that I woke up. It doesn't have to be everything, but the main events of the day. Next, I write how I felt about the day. It can just be overall, it could be at different points in my day. And then finally, I wrote down the next steps. So this is where I would write what I'm planning to do the next day or the next week or the next month, whatever I took from the day and needs to be turned into a to-do list. It's pretty straightforward. You can do this quickly or you can really take your time with it. I really enjoyed this because it generated a massive amount of productivity in my life. And that's because I woke up every day with a checklist of things that I like really felt motivated to do. So I would highly recommend it if you are somebody who is waking up and not really sure what you should be doing in the day. Um, especially when it comes to your own creative projects. Often with work, you know, you're told what to do, but when it comes to doing things, whether that's for pleasure or for curiosity, it's great to have an idea of what you're gonna do. Another benefit is you can remember more about your life and your day. If you list out in reverse order your whole day, you're gonna get better at remembering your life, your life events, and you're gonna have a collection of stories um, that you can share. One of the obstacles of this reflection journal is that you might not have the energy to always write down your entire day and how you felt and all the next steps. So again, you can make this as short or as long as you want, but just be aware that towards the evening, at least for myself, I don't have the same energy that I had in the morning. So to counteract this, I usually try to do it before I get tired, which is usually before I eat dinner. After the dinner, there's a carb crash and I'm usually out. So write the reflection journal at the end of the work day or really whatever time works best for you. And then if you have energy or if you want to, you add the things that happened after that. And that's a way to kind of counteract you missing days. And of course, you can also just do this once a week. I think the gratitude journal is great for a daily practice, but maybe the reflection journal is just a once a week thing or even once a month. But I do think doing it is very valuable. So all of these journaling methods are great, but which one is for you? The gratitude journal allows you to appreciate the small things in life and to be open to the possibilities of greatness in your day, but leaves little room for creative expression. The morning pages is a great creative outlet, but it can be challenging if you don't have a lot of time or if you're just not fired up with any ideas. And finally, the reflection journal is a great way of uncovering what's affecting you in your life by reviewing how you feel about your mood, and then also so you can plan your next steps in life. So personally, I use all three methods, but not every day. The gratitude journal has been a non-negotiable for me. It's a perfect daily practice that takes so little time, but the morning pages is something I wish I did more of. The creativity that I found has been amazing and it's definitely something that I need to do more of. Finally, the reflection journal is something that creates the momentum. Again, I actually do this very often as well, not every day, but if I can, I get it done. And if I were to recommend something, it would be to do it at least once a week for a little bit and see if you feel any of the effects. It's really about figuring out which one is best for you or what combination works best for you. So please let me know in the comments which ones you're excited to try and which ones you might already be doing or some new ones that you've been doing for a while and like or dislike. Um, definitely comment that down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it's been a pleasurable reminder of how you can cultivate more joy, creativity, and focus in your life. I'm very excited to hear your advice or tips on journaling as well. And any advice you have for newcomers to this space, please share them down below. Um, I think it can be a great space where we can all learn from each other. If you're interested in learning more tools, systems, and life lessons that I've learned, please hit the subscribe button and I cannot wait to share them. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Peace.